government expands social welfare for the poor during the COVID emergency benefiting 14 million. Key Economics Unit, chaired by Prime Minister Prayut chan gave the green light on Wednesday for additional funding to run expanded social welfare schemes right up until 31 March 2021. The Tourism Authority has also extended support for domestic tourism offerings with subsidized flights, accommodation and weekday package holidays for the elderly up to 30 April 2021. Thailand is expanding its social welfare programs during the pandemic as part of the government's strategy to deal with the ongoing economic crisis. This week, the government approved the extension of several programs which will see up to 14 million Thais receive between 3,500 baht and 4,000 baht in monthly supports up to the end of the first quarter of 2021. Thai Prime Minister chaired a meeting of the Center for Economic Situation Administration, CESA, which approved 43.5 billion baht in extra funding for social welfare support schemes to run up to 31 March 2021 which will benefit up to 14 million Thais with supports of up to 4,000 baht per month. In a week where ministers and officials confirmed that foreign mass tourism would not be reopening until the end of next year at the earliest, and would not be returning to normal until 2024, the government's Economic Coordination Unit, the Center for Economic Situation Administration, CESA, approved an extension of several social welfare schemes targeted at Thailand's less well-off. The committee chaired by Prime Minister Chan Ocha on Wednesday approved 43.5 billion baht which will be disbursed from special funds set up by the government to allow for a 50% copayment scheme for goods across up to 900,000 shops in the kingdom with an extended ceiling of up to 3,500 baht per person. Scheme where the government pays up to 50% on food, drinks and general merchandise at up to 150 baht per day to be extended until 31 March 2021 the government will make co-payments of 50% on a range of products including food, drink and general necessities up to a daily limit of 150 baht per day. The first phase of the scheme begins at the end of October and will run until the end of the year. The second phase, approved on Wednesday, will run from 1 January to 31 March with extra funding provided of 22.5 billion baht. In addition, this week, the government allocated a further 21 billion baht for the social welfare card program which will see 14 million poorer ties receive a monthly allowance of 500 baht for three months until the end of March 2021. This scheme was launched and went into operation this September. Already, it is reported that 10 million Thai people are benefiting from monthly income support payments. Both schemes being offered to those in need and should see up to 14 million users avail of the supports Danacha Pichayanan, the Secretary General of the National Economic and Social Development Council, NESDC, said this week that it is envisaged that the co-payment scheme will be expanded in 2021 to include an additional 5 million people. Figures for the last few months show just over 9.5 million Thais benefiting from this system. Thais availing of the scheme are handed special social welfare cards which are linked to the government's growing database infrastructure which is a fundamental part of its Thailand 4.0 strategy to make government services and supports easier to access while also providing government policymakers with more accurate information on how to respond to the needs of the less well-off. Tourism subsidies now extended to 15 nights away and up to 3,000 baht on flights to popular resorts. The government is also recharging its domestic tourism support initiatives. These will see subsidies of up to 40% on airfares and accommodation in the We Travel Together campaign which will see extended contributions for up to 15 nights in hotels instead of 10 as before. The subsidy has also risen from 2,000 baht to 3,000 baht on flights to popular destinations such as Phuket, Krabi, Fang Nga, Songkla, Surat Thani, Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai. Subsidies on cars, boats, dining and spas The governor of the Tourism Authority of Thailand, Yadhasak Supersorn, last week, also highlighted that subsidies were also now available for car hire, pleasure boats, dining and health spa visits. The tourism chief says that the scheme has been extended until 30 April from 31 January 2021. He also drew attention to a special scheme aimed at the over 55s which allows a 5,000 baht contribution to holiday packages priced at no less than 12,500 baht and which will only apply to working days.